What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So we just had something pretty cool happen. So I was out in the shop trying to pick up some stuff, clean up and stuff. And of course Skeeter, our little uh, mini schnauzer, he's uh, always with me step by step pretty much. And he always loves to ride in the Ranger in our player side by side. Well, he kept jumping in the seat and jumping out and he kept jumping in the seat, jumping out. I said, Skeeter, give me a minute. As soon as we get done, we'll take a little All ride. Right. Well, soon as I got done, we got in the Ranger and we took a little ride just around the driveway just to make him happy. And we get over here by this tree and let me show you guys what we found. But there is a swarm of bees here in this pear tree. So uh, I got my suit and I've got an empty hive right over there. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to capture this beehive. We're gonna try to save it. And uh, right now we got three beehives. We're gonna try to rescue this one. And then that'll give us a fourth one. Hopefully there's a queen in there. It's very late in the evening. So uh, I've never, never done a rescue like this this late in the evening. Um, normally, Swarms of bees are pretty gentle, um, but you just never know. Um, a couple weeks back, I tried to help someone with a swarm of bees and they actually stung me quite a few times. And that was the first time I ever dealt with uh, an angry swarm of bees. But anyways, if you guys ever see a swarm of bees like this, don't ever spray them with um, wasp spray or anything like that. Um, you could always get online, you can Google, in your area um, whatever town you live in you can google um beekeepers you can get on facebook and look up bee clubs in your area and stuff like that and you can call them and they will be more than happy to come and uh, try to remove them a lot of times they'll get in your house and they can actually destroy your house because what they do is they build a hive in your house and they'll get in behind your walls and your sheetrock will start bringing in honey and then that honey will actually seep through your walls and your ceiling and all that stuff and it can run some of your house so uh it's a win-win for the beekeeper and then the bees get a new home too so let me get my gloves on and go grab this box see if we can't rescue this hive here and that'll give us a fourth hive right now we only got three three made it through the winter and i don't have smoke right now i don't think i'm gonna need it because they're they seem like they're pretty gentle looks like they're all going back to this tree for the night time um, bees usually will go back to their hive at night and they're starting to settle in so let me go grab this hive Smeagol, get out of here.
So they're wrapped up in a bunch of leaves. So they're not the easiest to get off this tree. There goes the dogs. <laughs> These bees are pretty mad now. And uh, like I said, I've never done this in the evening time like this. And uh, bees usually don't like to be messed with about this time when the sun starts going down in my experience. I don't know if you guys can hear them or not. So I'm just trying to rake as many as I can off this tree and get them in this box if, I, if there's a queen in there and I can get her in there and then they will smell her pheromone, the scent that she gives off, and they'll go in that box and just march right in there. But if she's still up here in this tree in this mm -hmm. ball, then these will probably leave and then come back to this tree. And I'm not really even looking for one right now, I'm just trying to hurry up before it gets dark. The more I can get, the better chance we have of a mall going in there. some of these frames back in. <laughs> There's a fork in this tree, so it makes it kind of hard for me to uh, get them all out of there. <laughs>
I'm gonna put the lid on there, we're gonna see if they'll start going towards this box. If we're lucky, they'll start flying towards the entrance and just start kind of marching in. So it looks like they're starting to go in the entrance of the uh, hive here, the deep. So you can see when I throw a ball of bees down there, it looks like the majority goes in the hive, but some of them fly. So I've got a stand right over here. Yep. Put me in nosy. Oh yeah, of course. Look at here. The goats see the <laughs> the pear tree leaves, but you might as well not let them go to wing. So we'll put this stand right here and this will just give them a, make this hive a little up higher.
of them are off the tree now and every time they start to go back to the tree I shake it and then more and more of them land down there on that frame that the uh, hive is resting on and you can see they're starting to crawl and fly into the opening of the hive so I think it's, this is gonna work hopefully we can get the majority of them in there hopefully there's a queen and uh, we'll see if they stay or not but they got a nice new home um, Usually right away they'll start building out wax and foundation on those frames. Best case scenario there's a queen in there and then they'll uh, have someone that can start laying eggs and reestablish their hive. I know this is a little bit different video. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions from people wanting to know if we're gonna be doing any bee videos and this is gonna be the first one of the year. Um, hopefully we'll have a good spring and it will continue to rain and then we'll be able to do a honey harvest here before long. But uh, th if this is successful and we can rescue this hive here or this swarm and put them in this hive, then this will give us four 
bee colonies and uh, that much more luck of getting honey more than likely this one won't give us honey this spring but going into the fall hopefully we'll be able to harvest it so anyways I'm gonna leave this here for tonight in the next video I'll try to remember to update you guys whether this worked or not we'll do an update video and uh, hopefully I can show you another nice healthy hive more than likely what happened is um, one of my other hives um, they're doing very good so it probably ran out of room and they decided hey we're gonna leave the hive let's go start a new one we're running out of room and that's usually what they do when they swarm either that or if it's not a healthy hive um, a lot of times there can be parasites like hive beetles or varroa mites and um, if a hive gets sick they'll, de they'll just decide to leave that hive but right now all three of our existing hives look pretty healthy so I think this is gonna be good um, if I can get them in here, I'll let them set for a couple days right here and then I'll move them over to my other hives and then I'll just immediately start feeding them some sugar water and that'll give them a boost. So uh, you guys, I know this is silly, I threw all those leaves from the uh, pear trees over there for the goats. They started getting nosy but then whenever ever they came over here to check it out they could hear the bees and they took off running to the barn. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video and uh, subscribe, don't miss the next video. And uh, I'll let you guys know whether the bees made it or not, if they stayed or if they fled and went and found a new home. So subscribe if you're not subscribed, leave a comment, like this video, and we'll see you next time.